Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. Uh, familiar faces here. Well, we have Laura Dupuy, the Executive Director for the Utah uh, Council for Citizen Diplomacy. Welcome back to the show, Laura. It's great to have you here this morning. Well, thank you, Chelsea. Yeah. We're honored. I'm honored to be here on the Mountain Morning well, thank Show. Thank you. Well, I had such a great discussion uh, with Laura and, and uh, Katie, uh, who, who works with you. And you guys have such great, interesting backgrounds. And I can see uh, your connection uh, to the UCCD and, and how great uh, that is that you can be a part of that and to, to bring that message and what you guys are talking about uh, to our show and to our audience. And, and one of the great things you have going on is your lecture series. Uh, tell me first, uh, how long has the lecture series been around for? Uh, this is our seventh year. Seven years. Yes, and it's uh, the World Affairs Lecture Series. It's actually the Ambassador John Price and Marcia Price mm -hmm. World Affairs Lecture Series, which we do in partnership with Westminster College. Fantastic, and you have a, a really fascinating lineup of speakers. Um, and I said I, I've seen a, a, a similar program through like BYU, but this one I just was checking out the speakers and their descriptions, and you are bringing in some wonderful people. And uh, so, first off, uh, tell me kind of what can you expect from this experience and going to the lecture series? Well, it's a wonderful community event. We believe uh, in the idea that access to information about our world and some of the key foreign policy issues that we're facing uh, should be free and open to all. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a community-based event. We have students and community members who are regular attendees. Mm -hmm. um, but it really is designed to give us a snapshot from an expert's view about some of those key issues that are affecting our world, whether we know it or not. And so they're extremely informative and very entertaining. Very good. And uh, tell me about some of the speakers that you do have coming up for the next few months? Well, each year we feature six speakers and we're going to uh, have a theme this year. I think all of us who are interested in international relations are attracted by uh, the differences of, in culture and mm -hmm. food. Um, but we're also interested in seeing what we can do as individuals to help create a more peaceful world. And so if we learn ways that we can uh, be effective, it starts with being informed. And as we become informed, we become uh, more understanding and respectful of other people's points of view. So we're going to kick off the lecture series with John Marks, who is the president and founder of Search for Common Ground. And he is going to be talking about how uh, we can prevent adversarial relationships and create uh, peace building through the collaborative process. And he actually was inspired as a young man to create this organization, which is now the world's largest um, peace building organization with offices in 30 countries, because wow. he believes that individuals, people just like you and I, have a, a right and responsibility and a role in helping to shape that. Uh, peaceful world. Mm. Well, that's just one of uh, many speakers that you have coming on. Uh, I know you have a reporter uh, that will be, I believe, in January. We, coming on. we actually have two reporters that I'm very excited about. Uh, in January, we'll be featuring Jan Grillo, who is going to be talking about El Narco, uh, the uh, criminal insurgency in Mexico. And El Narco is actually much more than just a drug cartel, but it is a movement that has affected uh, and created devastating effects for our neighbor to the south. Mm -hmm. um, so we have seen so much in the news about the effects of the drug trade uh, in Mexico, how it's affecting their economy, and what effects that's having to uh, this, uh, uh, some of the border issues. Mm -hmm. So he, he's going to be fantastic. I've heard great things about him. I'm excited about that one. What, what a fascinating subject. And for those whose background is, you know, in journalism or that's their field, uh, like myself, I'm, I'm thrilled to go to that one. I think it'll be just fascinating. And uh, you do have a, a professor from Harvard and um, a lot of the, the, their backgrounds are, are very, um, you know, established. They're these really fantastic speakers. 
that they, you're bringing in. They really are. Um, our professor from Harvard is Dr. Tariq Masood, and he's going to be talking about understanding Muslim societies. Mm -hmm. And specifically, uh, what are the aftermaths of the Arab Spring in Egypt? So we've seen that the Muslim Brotherhood has uh, uh, taken control of the presidency uh, and the parliament. What are the ramifications of this more Islamic approach to Egyptian political s system and social uh, network? And what does that mean for U.S.-Egypt relations? Mm -hmm. And of course, we saw the Arab Spring expanded throughout North Africa into other parts of the world. And so it's going to be a very insightful opportunity for us to learn more about what we might expect in the coming years. Mm -hmm. and, and what a, a great topic to talk about, you know, around election season with uh, foreign relations, of course, being a big topic on the board. Not as big as some others, maybe, but something that I'm sure many people will be interested to hear about and to see what uh, the person they want in office might might feel about those issues as and well. That's a great segue to um, introducing our October speaker, Dr. Michael Haltzell, and he is with the Center for Transatlantic Relations mm -hmm. with Johns Hopkins University. And his topic is going to be posing the question, is the U.S. in decline? Mm -hmm. And what are the prospects for the coming century? And we have uh, experienced two wars, the Great Recession, we have domestic issues. So what does that mean? He has a very hopeful message, uh, but it all depends on some of the critical choices that we're going to be making. That's in October, just before we all go to the polls to vote. Mm -hmm. And so I encourage uh, all of us to, to pay attention to the message that he has to share, because it's going to shape um, uh, what our foreign policy looks like uh, with this election, it's really critical. I, I, I do agree with that. And along with that, where can people go to uh, take part in this lecture series? You said it is, it is on Westminster campus. They are. We are a proud affiliate of the Westminster College. And all of our lectures are held in the Vive Gore Concert Hall mm -hmm. in the Jewett Center on the campus of Westminster College. Great. They start at 7 p.m. They are free and open to all. They're seating for about 250, so uh, uh, come early, meet, meet people, mingle. Um, you'll meet a lot of like-minded people. Mm -hmm. So it's not only a lecture, but it's really a community gathering. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, that, that's what I really like about the, this lecture series, is that you're you're put into a group of people, and you like, like you say, like-minded individuals who want to hear about these issues and be active in, in what's happening uh, as far as current events go. And, and I think it's a great thing that you, you guys have established here. And you've been had going on for the last seven years. So I'm excited to, to see it happen. And so where can okay. people go to get more information? To our website at utahdiplomacy.org. Oh, and nice. we encourage people to sign up. Membership in our organization is free. Mm -hmm. It'll take about uh, 30 seconds to sign up online. And you'll receive our um, newsletter and notices about the upcoming lectures, so you won't miss a single one. Very good. And, and so, last question for you, Laura. You do have some international visitors uh, coming this month. Tell me about that. Oh boy, September is our busiest month of the year, and we are so proud to welcome visitors from uh, almost 40 different countries wow. this month alone. We have delegates from Azerbaijan, from Israel, from Syria. Um, just imagine having that opportunity to sit down with um, leaders from Syria and finding out firsthand what's it really like because we're mm -hmm. hearing so much on the news and it's a very critical situation for that country. So this is one of the great benefits that we get from inviting these leaders uh, because it gives us that story behind the news. Very good. Well, Laura, thank you so much for joining me this morning. And like I said, I'm sure I'm excited to, to attend uh, those lectures coming up. So thank you for what you're doing and for joining us. It is my pleasure to be here, and thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Laura. And uh, we'll be right back here with more on the Mountain Morning Show with your national weather forecast. Stay with us. The melody haunts my reverie. And I am once again with you When our love was new